Good morning, I'm Miranda Khan. Topping your Newsmax Now update, Texas Senator Ted Cruz announces he'll run for president in 2016. At around midnight, Cruz put out this tweet announcing his candidacy and asking for support. He's the first major contender to officially announce his campaign. Newsmax TV's John Bachman interviewed the senator last month. He blasted President Obama for his executive action on immigration. And about an hour, Cruz is scheduled to speak at Liberty University in Lynchburg, Virginia, and we'll try to take it there live and bring you the very latest right here on Newsmax. The military, in other news, the military urges all staff to remain alert after the terror group ISIS publishes the names and addresses of service members. The Marine Corps recommends that military members and their families adjust their privacy settings on social media after ISIS urged its supporters to carry out attacks. According to site intelligence, ISIS hacked information about the Air Force, the Army, and the Navy, including photos of soldiers and their ranks. In New York, the Orthodox Jewish community mourns after a fire kills seven children. Their father spoke at the funeral. There's only one way to survive this. It's complete and total, utter surrender. Surrender. That's it. We don't understand anything. The three girls and four boys were killed at a house fire early Saturday. The mother and sister are listed in critical condition. The children were all between the ages of 5 and 16. Their bodies will be flown to Israel today for burial. In Florida, investigators are looking into the cause of a deadly helicopter crash. The small helicopter hit a guest home in Orlando. One person was found dead. Officials say they believe the body belongs to the unidentified pilot. The FAA reports the crash happened just two miles away from the Orlando Executive Airport where the helicopter took off. The UN ambassador to Yemen warns his country is on the brink of a civil war. This after residents protested the Houthi rebel takeover of another city yesterday. They say the rebels easily captured the city's military airport. Conflict has spread across the country after the Iranian-backed rebels took over the capital city last year. It's been 70 years since the Battle of Iwo Jima. Now American and Japanese officials gather to honor some 25,000 soldiers who gave their lives defending the small region all those years ago. Iwo Jima was the first of Japan's islands to be taken over during World War II. We'll have another Newsmax Now update coming your way in 30 minutes.